Hello everyone. And today we're reviewing a kitchen rug manta mat. Anti-fatigue comfort. I already have one like this. Um, so I originally have a black one. Uh, it's, I've had it for about eight years now. I kind of want to switch it up. This matches my kitchen a little bit better. So you could use this um, for prepping food in your kitchen is what I usually do and I have another mat in front of the dish area. Uh, you can also use it in your laundry area if you fold clothes in there depending on how your laundry area is set up. Uh, on the side of your bed, in the bathroom, uh, as you get out if you don't want a regular rug. So it comes rolled up like this. Pretty nice presentation. So I'm just going to unroll it for you. So this sold for, uh, usually goes for $26.99. Got it for $24.29. Happened to be on sale. Those cushions. 12 millimeters thick. So take the extra stress off your feet while you're prepping or whatever you're doing. It has ample support for your knees. You could even use it as a dust mat if you need one under there. Um, some people need them, some people don't. So yeah, it does have that little bit of that new, uh, quest new smell to it. It's not super strong. Um, easy to clean, it's water resistant. So it's 30 by 17 inches wide and long. Um, and it's 0.47 inches thick, non-slip, easy to clean PVC leather surface, waterproof and oil proof, just what I need for the kitchen. Uh, so let me wrap that here. And it's sold by Mason Market. So I'm just going to do the, the cover here. We can unroll this and actually look at it. So it's not supposed to collect dirt. It's not supposed to stain. It looks as if it's fairly easy washable. As I push down on it, I notice uh, maybe very easy washable until it gets worn out. Um, then you'll know it's time to replace it. So simply wipe with a damp cloth and you won't go flying over it. Uh, so it has a different color surface in the back. It shows you the non-slip side. And here it is here, fairly wide. Go back over here, yep. So it promotes a uh, posture, gets you some stress off your feet. We need a lot of these in our house, depending on how your house is set up. I mean, I use two in my kitchen, uh, and I use one large, much larger one. Uh, but it looks more like a thin rug on my desk. Uh, but yeah, you can use this stuff to come out of the bathroom. I'm kind of getting sick of rugs. Uh, I throw them in the laundry all the time. This would just be easy to wash, vacuum, um, and the water would dry right off of it. And you're not going to slip. I'm finding with the rug it does move a little bit. It's only a small rug. Uh, but it's got a really nice design. It's geometric. So it's light and dark. What is it? No, nope, actually the lines are white and then it's a light gray. So. And then, so you can see this thickness right here. So this is pretty decent. Or, um, I don't know if there's any, I'm sure there's plenty of factories still around too. If your boss lets you bring it in, and you're at a station where you have to keep, uh, I used to do piecework a long time ago. Um, I definitely needed one of these, and they didn't have them. We we're standing on concrete floor. Uh, so if your boss lets you bring it in, use it. 
Uh, you avoid a lot of foot pain with a mat like this and a combination of the right shoes. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye.